Hi folks, and welcome back to Open Source tonight. Folks, today what I want to show you all and talk about a little bit, and also install in a virtual machine, a lot of different things, isn't it? Is Ubuntu 23.10, the latest Ubuntu release from the company Canonical. So I don't really run Ubuntu as much as I used to. I've got a few systems that are still running Ubuntu out there, but yeah, I'm not uh, using Ubuntu as much as I used to. But let's test it out in this virtual machine. So this was released just the other day, so it's nice and fresh out of the compiler, and let's go test it out. All right, folks, so I'm using the legacy installer. When I went to Ubuntu's website at the time, it said that the download was not available for the new installer. So we're using the legacy one here. So y'all will recognize this. And let's just keep going through it here. I'm gonna turn off downloading updates because I don't really care, it's a virtual machine. And let's see if we can get this thing installed and test it out a little bit here. Okay, erase the disk and install Ubuntu. It's a virtual machine, so let's go ahead and continue and off it goes. And if you all remember the old installer, Ubiquity, it's gonna ask me for my time zone next. And there we go, now the time's right up there. Yeah, that's right, it's three in the morning here. I'm gonna put in my name, Vincent Maggard. Would help if I spelt it right, wouldn't it? And we're gonna call this Ubuntu, well, if I can type, 23, Dot 10 and I'm gonna put in a great username here all right there's my little virtual machine password and everything gonna hit continue and off we go and we can even open this up and you can see what it's doing this is copying to an SSD so this should install pretty quickly and so we'll just wait for that to complete now all right, there we go. It's done installing. Let's restart and let's test out Ubuntu 23.10. So let's see what it does. Okay, gonna eject the disk and VirtualBox should automatically do that for me. And here we go. And we're at the login screen. Let's try logging in here. All right, so we're logged in. I'm gonna skip all of this. Ah, it's just a virtual machine. Okay, and we're done. All right, now I'm gonna actually go ahead here real quick, and I am going to install the guest, uh, or the virtual box uh, guest editions. And to do that, I'm going to need Build Essential, and that package will install all the compilers and everything I should need. So we're gonna just run out and get that real quick. So you can do that with sudo apt install build-essentials. Or actually, no, I think the package is build essentials without a dash. Might be. I'll have to double check. <laughs> I've done it so many times, I, I typed it without even thinking about what it was, honestly. But yeah, let's see. It looks like it's about done. And I'll tell you, it was build dash essentials, or essential, sorry. And it's got a dash in the middle. So that's done. And there we go. So let's see here. That will let me get the virtual machine to do what I want here. I'm going to insert the guest editions. We'll close that terminal because I can open one back up with the run software, run. And I typed the password wrong. There we go, typed it right that time. And as you can see, it's trying to do it. So we're gonna see if it builds the proper kernel module. If it does, then we can say, and it did. That right there tells me it built it because our user interface resized properly to fit full broadcast HD when I'm recording right now. That's great. So let's just see if it will finish. And then we can explore this a little bit. Now things will be a little easier for you to see. And actually, let me go in here and make the fonts a little bigger. This is something I need to always remember to do and I don't remember to do it. Uh, let's see here. I want, let's see, seeing here, large text. 
There we go. So that will make that text a little bigger. And that's really good on video compression because it can make that text hard to read. Honestly, I think that uh, that even when it's minimally compressed video text, you know, looking from the side, other side of the room, you might be watching on a TV, <laughs> still hard to read or a cell phone or whatever. So we're just waiting for this to finish. And I'm beginning to think it's not going to do that. So we might just come back to it. We can do what we need without it. So this is the system. And let's take a look around. Interesting that some things is not rendering. I think that's probably due to this happening in the background. So maybe we should let it finish. Nah. <laughs> but yeah, so we can see different things here. You know, it looks like that for the most part, it's the same system as far as anyone can really tell. You know, so. But that's a good thing. I mean, you know, you don't want to have something change overnight. I'm beginning to wonder if this is, is hung, because it's not normally known to take this long. I don't know. Let's see here. Don't think they have HTOP pre-installed. No, they do not. I wish they would do that. I really like HTOP. If HTOP was pre-installed, that would definitely be good. There. I want to look at the system utilization. Now you can use the top command, which is a little simpler. So this is H top and this is top. I prefer H top, but you know. Oh, for a second I thought that it something had finished over there. So let's go back to H top and look. Yeah, it's using some CPU. The system is a little bit here and there. Feels like this shouldn't be taking that long. So I think I'm going to try stopping it. And let's just try rebooting the virtual machine and just see what happens. Maybe the script actually completed, but it hung or something after it completed. Who knows? Let's just try rebooting the box here and just see what happens. And it's... I don't know. It's like it's... Wait, wait. Job... Session 2.scope. I'm really not sure what's going on here. It's just a virtual machine. Let's just do the restart by hand there. There we go. Now we're restarting. I'm going to actually look at what it's doing here. You can do that by pressing the escape key in most cases. When it's booting up Linux, pretty much in general. I don't know of any Linux distro that doesn't work on. Is there one? Maybe. If you, if you know of one, let me know in the comments. Yeah, I think this virtual machine is broken. Wait, 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 hold on. Maybe not. I'm not really sure why that it's it's doing this. My computer has been acting kind of odd the last couple of days a little bit. I don't know. I think this Linux install, the base Rocky Linux install, I, something is broken. It, I, I, I don't know. It might have been something I did. I'm really not 100% sure. I think I'm just going to pre-install it, but I'm wondering if it's affecting this virtual machine in some weird way. I mean, right now, it's trying to count some processes up that don't seem to be starting like they're supposed to, so... I don't know, maybe that uh, VirtualBox Guest Editions thing really was broke. And if I'd thought I had, I could have added a snapshot. So for those that don't know, I can hit machine and then take snapshot. And then you can give it a name and hit OK. And it will actually save the virtual machine state. So that way, if that I mess something up, I can just revert to the uh, snapshot. Yeah, I don't think it is working. That is odd. So you know what? Let's just use, I uh, should put the CD back in, shouldn't I? Let's just use the live CD. Let's just do that because quite frankly, that works. I don't care to use the live CD. And uh, there we go. We're in the live CD now. So we can watch the live CD boot up as well if you'd like. I'm just going to set the screen resolution, and it won't be as good as having guest editions, but it will be good enough. So we can look around. But the system seems, quite frankly to me, to be, you know, it seems to be similar. It seems to be similar to the other system. 
Ubuntu 20.04 as well. So in that sense, it's the same. But again, same is not a bad thing. One thing I did have problems with before was when I changed it to dark mode. And there we go. I did this off the recording. The color would not change in the window. But that clearly was something that didn't happen again. So obviously I'm encountering a few little issues, glitches. This has only been out a few days. Wouldn't recommend you probably go out and install this exactly right now. Maybe give it a few weeks before, you know, you actually install it. So that way you can wait for all the issues to be worked out. But overall, it seems like it works. You can see there's the virtual hard drive of Ubuntu. So, but yeah, this seems to be the system. What kernel are they shipping? This should be the same in the live environment from what I understand 5.19.0-32 generic so here should have made that bigger but yeah that's that seems to be the case uh their file manager i thought i read something about it being different but this looks the same to me do y'all know something i don't let's see about files credits and this all seems the same All seems the same. Huh. I don't know. But yeah, it, you know, the system seems to be pretty responsive. I mean, I can drag Windows around real quick. I believe it's defaulting to Wayland. Uh, it was in 2204, I think, as well. Or it might be in 2304 that it was, but it seemed to be like they switched to it. Uh, interesting. X windowing system, or the windowing system, is actually X11, so that's X org. Huh. I was under the impression that it wasn't the case. Maybe the installer doesn't do it. Started to say I'd log out, but it's just the installer. Hmm. Yeah, I really don't know. That's a good question, actually. But, you know, the system seems pretty responsive. And the system utilization, just running the live CD with nothing actually open, is 1.4 gigs. And there's no swap right now because it's a live CD, I suppose you could argue. And there's no swap file. But it seems like it's working. You know, again, no screen tearing or anything, really, can, from what I can see. It, if it's there, it's very minimal. Everything seems very responsive. If I click on an application... But Firefox, let's see how quick that loads. Yeah, not too bad. I mean, it'd probably be faster in the real environment. Scrolls nice and smooth. Resize is good. So, yeah, I can't really say that it's too bad. Anyway, folks, hope this wasn't nothing of a nothing burger. Um, Botu 23.10. I don't know. Kind of seems more like 2304, I guess, slash 2204. All of that bunch. Which I don't think that's necessarily a problem. I mean, for the most part, it's incremental changes. Anyway, folks, I hope you all enjoyed my thoughts on Ubuntu today. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all again very soon. Goodbye, everybody. And action.